we have decided uh, that we will return to campus um, both in terms of the classroom setting as well as the regular work um, come tomorrow. We had funerals, funerals yesterday for Brian Frazier and Alexandria Werner, and the, and the funeral for Ariel Anderson will be in a few days. And we continue as a community to hold the families in our hearts as they remember and celebrate uh, their loved one's loss and grieve that loss. We have four students that remain in critical condition and one in stable condition. Everyone continues to work through their own process and is contributing in their own way. Whether a good thought sent upward or the delivery of cookies and comfort food to residences and dorms. We are a community that is strong, not as a reaction, but as a statement of purpose and principle. Spartan Strong is who we are, and Spartans cry, and Spartans hug, and Spartans hearts are broken, but not our Spartan will. And we will grieve and we will mend. And today, we reclaim our campus and our lives on behalf of our Spartan community. Today, everyone is a Spartan. One of the things that's important for us at this point in time is to recognize uh, that coming back together uh, is something that will help us. Um, we're a community that was shaped around uh, the interests of discovery and learning and it is as a community that we will heal. We know that everybody heals at their own pace and in their own manner, and so getting it exactly right will not be possible, but we will do the best we can in support of each other. No one thinks that we're coming back to a normal week. Uh, in fact, this semester is not going to be normal. Uh, so that's an important recognition and we've worked with academic leadership, we've worked with faculty leadership, and we've worked with student leadership to try to imagine and envision what will be needed and what might make this return possible and helpful. With respect to instructors, uh, we've made it clear, and uh, this was also again with their input, uh, that what was our syllabus coming into this term is not what is going to be the syllabus coming out of it and it should actually take an active step and recognition to take a step back to see this semester is not what anyone could have ever imagined and to reassess what are the learnings out, learning outcomes of individual courses. So um, what are the assignments for this week? In particular, we have asked that there be no heavy lifts. There be no attempts at making up for lost time or scrambling and doubling down uh, for the rest of the semester. Frankly, students are scared scared but absolutely ready to do what they can to make changes. Students have organized several protests <clears throat> at the Capitol and beyond, have spent countless hours organizing resources for their peers, spreading information to support our peers healing at Sparrow, and have been being there for one another. Please recognize that our students are not doing well and that we need these spaces to heal together. There are many different things that students need and I, I can't speak to all of them here but know that administrators, faculty, and staff are listening. This is our campus, and we're not letting anybody take that from us. There may be an increased visible presence on campus this week of law enforcement, uh, with some of our partners as well, providing an extra visible presence because we have listened to our community, and we know that some people just wanna see extra police as well. So we will have that on campus, but there are so many things that go on every day, like you pointed out, that are both seen and unseen that we do to protect this campus. And all I can do is to, to look the students, to look the parents in the eye and tell them and to reassure them that we are absolutely committed to ensuring the overall safety um, on this campus now and in the future. And we will, uh, if we need to change, we will change, but we, we have a, a very good system in place right now and we'll continue to, to move forward. 